they've got some real pace, don't they, out wide. Screaming down the wing, it's Suraya Bandera. He is one of the campaigners in the Sri Lankan Tusker squad, and they get it wide to him with a little bit of space. And that's good Sri Lankan rugby. That's what we've been accustomed to seeing over these past few seasons. Missing one of their superstars, Danushka Ranjan, in his first event. Well, that might be the most effective way of Sri Lanka defending against the Emirates. I mean, physically, they're not a match, and the Emirates will be pretty keen to take it straight at them. Of course, they can't if they don't have the ball. This will be the key. Let's keep the ball away from these blokes, please. So two reasonably quick tries by two quick men. Running just quietly, well not even really quietly, how the game's going to go. Yeah, he was giving it to Jean Butz there as Sri Lanka come winding around the corner for their second try. It was the try scorer, Natisau, who was bin, so just... Just the six players, and they've opened the door here for Sri Lanka. Surya Bandara with a second course. Sri Lanka, they went down narrowly to China in their pool game. So they'll need to win this game. Really trying to stretch this Philippines defence, are they? They think they've got him on the outside. Look, they have. He scoots inside the last tackle, and Surya Bandara. He's a wily character, and you sense that's what they were trying to do. They feel like they've got the heat on the volcanoes out wide. They've been really testing them, and finally they break through. And they're underway here. This 56 playoff. Well, good on Sri Lanka here. They've got, they're playing to their strengths. They haven't fallen off. Too many tackles like that, the Philippines. They've been working hard. This is to be expected. You're not going to win a game like this by zilching another.